Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Windows 11 is unable to use or utilize all the available memory installed on your computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing I recommend doing here would be to search in the search magnifying glass for MS config. Best result should come back with system configuration. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to select the boot tab, and then you want to select advanced options. So go ahead and left click on that. Check mark versus number of processors. Click inside the drop down here. Set it to two, or if you have more than two, you can select more than that. And then for maximum memory, click inside of here. And you want to insert the maximum amount of RAM you have installed in your computer. So if it says zero for some reason, you want to delete it and type in megabytes how much memory you have. So let's say you have eight gigabytes of RAM. So you could always open up a calculator here. And there are 1,024 megabytes in a gigabyte. So multiply your number of RAM in gigabytes by this 1,024. And that'll get you a number here. So if you're using eight gigabytes of RAM on your system, that's a number you'd want to type in. If you're using 16 gigabytes of RAM, it would be 16384, so on and so forth. But I only have 4 gigabytes of RAM allocated to this machine, so that number is correct in my case. So if I multiply it out, it does come up with 4096, which is fine. And I'm going to select OK to save that. And now that you've done that, you want to go ahead and close out of here. Open up the Start menu again. Type in Adjust. One of the best managers should come back with adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Go ahead and open that up. And then you want to select the Advanced tab. Underneath a virtual memory, a paging file is an area on the hard disk that Windows uses as if it were RAM. Go ahead and select the Change button. So on this page here, you want to make sure automatically manage paging file size for all drives is turned on. And there's no customized size in there because if you're having this problem, you probably just want to switch it over to automatically. And then select OK. You want to go ahead and restart your computer, so select OK again, and then OK. We will have to restart our computer for the change to take effect. One other thing I want you guys to take a look at, if you just recently installed memory on your computer, actually make sure that everything is put in correctly and that it's snug against your motherboard so the RAM is popped in and it's connected properly. It's not loose. So that's something I would recommend you guys actually open up and check if you just recently did an update or an upgrade to your RAM. So that's definitely something that could be happening. RAM modules really very rarely go bad. So that's probably not what the problem is, but it may not be properly secured. So that's something to take a look at. But generally speaking, you should be pretty good. You can run the Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool as well to scan for memory issues. I have tutorials on my channel, including for Windows 11 for this utility, so you can go ahead and search for that if you are still having a problem. But that should hopefully be about it, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.